Uh, Scientific Linux uh, 6.3, uh, it has no Matterhorn installation at the moment and well, uh, one important thing is it's a 64-bit machine. So uh, I just start the installation progress uh, because, well, I've not that much time and uh, you can do that uh, with uh, normal package manager you have for your Linux distribution. So you don't have to compile anything or uh, run some uh, scripts, you don't know what they are doing and so on. You just uh, call your package manager and say, uh, so yum install And then you want to install Opencast Matterhorn 1.4. So let's start this. Uh, you see uh, a lot of stuff going on, and these are the packages uh, you want to install. Uh, these are all the modules for Matterhorn. These are the different profiles for the basic things. And these are also the uh, third-party tools you need. So you see FFmpeg and uh, Media Info here. In fact, the all the I already installed before. Uh, but uh, it wouldn't be a problem even if they weren't installed yet. So let's say yes, we want to install it. And uh, now what he's doing is basically he downloads all the pre-compiled uh, packages for Matterhorn and uh, just put them into the right place uh, for your distribution. And uh, as I said, I did this for, or I'm doing this on uh, Scientific Linux 6.3, but uh, you can also do this with uh, CentOS uh, 6, whatever. You can do this with Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Uh, we have packages for uh, Fedora 17 and 18, and uh, we still have old packages for uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, Scientific Links, and CentOS 5, but you can not get a uh, 1.4 out of it, at least not at the moment, and uh, I'm not sure if we do uh, build for that. Okay, you see uh, installation is almost done. Actually, it is done. Uh, I think I needed three minutes for all of this, so Let's check out if it's working. Unable to load page, that's not good. Oh, I've installed it, I did not start it. <laughs> so, so the smart home start, it says, okay, <coughs> good sign. So at least it uh, started something, and that's the basic for, ah, here it is. Okay, so five minutes and you have your Matron running. Uh, so uh, one last thing I want to show you is, well, uh, what do you need to do to uh, get the repository for your system? And uh, it's documented in the, um, uh, in the wiki for Matterhorn, but what you basically have to do is to go to um, lernfunk.de slash repo. Uh, here you can uh, get an account. You need an account for this, and um, then you just put uh, one file into your uh, file system, which is uh, the Matterhorn repo file which basically tells the system, okay, here you can get all the packages and the updates and so on. So, I think I'm done with my talk. Uh, are there any questions? Yeah. Uh, okay. Hi, I just wanted to ask, uh, why did you decide to build separate packages for every module rather than just have a monolithic package for, for Matterhorn? Uh, there's a specific reason behind this. Uh, what I uh, just installed is uh, default Matterhorn installation. You can, uh, will get if you uh, compile it yourself and uh, do no modifications to the Maven uh, build command line. 
Uh, but Matterhorn is composed of a lot of different packages and not every server is the same. So uh, what you have here is, uh, I think I can bring them up again. Um, okay, low screen resolution. But you have uh, different profiles here. Uh, so you have, for example, the profile for the engaged server and all the modules, and in fact, if I go up. So that here. would be making distributed installation easier that yes. way. So, and uh, we also packed these things to different distributions. So, if you want to have uh, uh, whatever uh, capture agent, you just install the distribution for the capture agent. It will uh, pull all modules you need for the capture agent and nothing else. And uh, that's possible because we split up the Matterhorn into each module, and uh, so you can just say, okay, that, 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 and, uh, well, you don't have to say that, you can also install the distribution. Okay, other so question. We have time for one more question, and then the next one, Leonid can start. Maybe one question, not direct to last, but to the others. I have created a s small set of RPMs for uh, SUSE Enterprise Linux. Um, I'm wondering if there's anybody else who would have use of also having the entire Matterhorn available for SUSE or if Stuttgart is the only one that would be in need of or have a use for such RPMs. 